So we're about to get an explosion of news about Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. We all know it was announced, more news coming on the 26th, but now we have a little bit of detail about what that news is going to pertain to, how long we're going to be able to actually see the game for, and uh, how long the event actually is for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity on the 26th, which I'm so pumped. But before we talk about that, I have to remind you that we have two giveaways going on. One is for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. There's a Gleam.io link down in the description to enter that. Also, we are giving away a Switch Lite and two Switch games of choice. There's a laundry list of ways to enter, subscribing, all that jazz. Go down in the description to find out how to do that. Uh, and good luck. Winners will be announced on October 1st, and that's when we begin our new giveaway as well. Uh, but we'll give details on that, uh, even though the details are technically already out there. But whatever. We'll talk more about that giveaway when it's time to announce it. All right. So, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. To say I'm excited for this game is maybe the understatement of the year. Age of Calamity is a prequel, an official canon prequel to Breath of the Wild. And we know Breath of the Wild sequel is coming according to Eiji Anomu and the Zelda team announced back at E3 2019. That means that we have a trilogy of Breath of the Wild games. Uh, and this is the next one. It's going to fill in what happened 100 years before Breath of the Wild when the Great Calamity occurred. And it looks like it starts before Link is even a big deal, before Link is a champion. And that is really, really cool. We're going to get a lot of stuff. The Zelda team directly worked on this with Koei Tecmo. So, or, yeah, whatever. So it's it's going to be uh, very interesting to see how this turns out out uh obviously there's another hyrule warriors game out there that was a celebration game it's non-canon uh it's licensed by nintendo but it's not uh nintendo really didn't have much to do with that game whereas with this one nintendo's zelda team wrote the story uh and were directly involved especially with the visuals of the game so it looks and feels like breath of the wild uh crazy you guys have seen it you're literally watching the trailer over and over again right now that's how cool this is well we have some information here for you guys uh, this comes from the official uh, Hyrule Warriors um, Twitter account in Japan. Uh, and we're looking just at like a, a Google translated uh, version of the tweet here. Uh, and it says, the latest information on Hyrule Warriors apotropaic magic. I, I'm not exactly sure um, what that means. <laughs> Again, it's a translation. Uh, it will be delivered at 2200 on Saturday, September 26th it will be released at tokyo game show 2020 during the official exhibitor program we will deliver a program of about 50 minutes long including the first public release of the actual machine video so what they mean is that, like the first public release of actual like live gameplay um so please take a look uh and then the click for details takes you out to the site and, they, and it's just like a link where they have the stream ready to go live in five days now for those wondering what time that is in terms of uh the united states uh it is 7 a.m my local time is when that stream is going to happen now uh right now the stream they linked out is a japanese version of the stream uh but it was announced in english this is important to note this september 26th news was announced in the english trailer at the end of the trailer which means there should be an english version of this if not an english translated version of this stream happening at the exact same time we just don't know which channel it's going to go through potentially it might officially be on the nintendo channel since they announced it on the nintendo youtube channel so uh either way you know we will be live stream reacting to it if they're doing a live stream of it it will it will likely uh be announced you know a day before or, or so to give us a little heads up on hey look this is the stream here's the video get ready to watch it uh so you know we will be live stream reacting to it i'm a big zelda guy as much as i've been talking about mario uh for anyone who's been a long time fan of the channel i am a zelda guy zelda is my favorite franchise if you look in the background of some of my videos when i'm on camera you notice i have an entire shelf dedicated to just zelda uh whereas i don't have an entire shelf dedicated to any other franchise uh so yeah i'm i'm crazy stupid excited for this news uh i speculated you know on what some additional playable characters might be and you can obviously look above to find out that uh but yeah i'm I'm obviously uh, really wondering what they're going to show here. How much more story are we going to get? Are we going to get some more cutscenes? Uh, are we going to get 
uh, you know, information on more playable characters because playable characters is a very interesting thing because we have the mainstays there that, that should be playable during the Great Calamity. But what else is going to be available? Are they going to reveal that there's a dark side to the story? Because if you don't know Warriors games, you can traditionally play the good and the bad. Uh, and so you get both perspectives. Are we going to get both perspectives in this game? Are we going to get to play as one of Calamity Ganon's minions and going through all that leading up to uh, the Great Calamity? I have no idea... Uh, maybe this won't be that way since the Zelda team is directly involved in writing the story and the cutscenes. The voice actors are back for this one. This is official, folks. It is legitimately part of the Zelda IP timeline franchise, all that jazz. One of the first spin-off Zelda games to officially be part of that timeline. So, what are you guys hoping to find out about this game in a 50-minute presentation? To put this in perspective... We just got a Monster Hunter Direct following up the Nintendo Direct Mini, and that was 15 minutes long, and that was for Monster Hunter Rise, which is going to be a big deal game releasing on March 26th next year. We're talking a 4 or 5 million seller. This is a 50-minute presentation at Tokyo Game Show where Nintendo typically has no presence at all. So this is going to be pretty interesting to me. And, and the fact that they're not just going to leave it in Japanese, it's, it was announced in English that there's going to be news on the 26th. That lets me know that Nintendo plans to do an English thing and worldwide, like this is going to be big, guys. A 50-minute presentation. This is akin to getting a 50-minute presentation on Breath of the Wild 2 in terms of this game. I, I, I don't know what to expect. I literally don't know what to expect. What, what are we going to find out? Are we going to find out, like, a key timeline detail? Are we going to find out about more playable characters? Are we going to find out, um, you know, some locations and, and how they rebuilt those locations or built them in the first place? Because the locations show Hyrule before it was destroyed. Like, that's one of the most exciting things about this game is we get to see the world of Breath of the Wild before the destruction. Then, obviously, we get to see it get destroyed as well. But, you know. That's kind of a minor side note in comparison to everything else. So, yeah, what are you guys thinking? Are you guys hyped for this game or as hyped as I am? I also want to apologize if there's a little popping in the audio or a little bumping. Um, I'm holding this microphone. I'm not actually at home at my studio with my usual setup. I'm, I'm gone. I'm on my laptop trying to get a, a few videos out for you guys. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully uh, this turns out because <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm going to be really, really, really upset. Um, cause I brought this stuff with specifically so I could try to get some sort of quality content out to you guys, but, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, this is how it goes. All right, folks. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I actually, uh, might have another video coming out later today, guys. Um, that's actually an older video that I'm, I'm bringing back, um, for a new audience just because it's been a long time. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's a video that is still relevant to this day. All right. I love you guys, man. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, all that jazz. I will catch you in the next video.